Let's go ahead and open up ES. There's no chart. There's no uh, data there. I can get that run in a second though. But uh, we're going to make an indicator here for this ATS. Let me go ahead and log in the contract to uh, IB. Just so I have something on the chart to look at. It's the first time I opened uh, IB. This is what it looks like. This is the simulated account. A bunch of pop ops are going to come in. You're going to get this uh, wizard the bottom here slows all this crap let's go ahead and put an ES let's see where ES is trading at futures December month 2008 remember my decision no I don't want derivatives ES is up 16 points right now hopefully you don't see my account number I'll have to edit that later okay so we're up and running gonna backfill this chart on quote tracker control F Logging into backfill. Oh wait, go to go to the simulator. You gotta configure this. Go to the API. Enable ActiveX and Socket clients. You gotta pop up. Unblock. Next step is you can go ahead and let uh, enable the DDE clients as well. Also, another thing, all API settings. You wanna add a trusted IP address so that each time you open Quo Tracker, it doesn't ask you if you want to connect so you're going to create one the the, uh, the code is 127 put it in 12 num lock 27.0.01 it's a point right there one there it is we're in as soon as I uh, put that code in there it's just okay it Alright, so yes, let's go ahead and control F and backfill this. There it is. Got our chart up and running. Okay, next up is we're gonna make an indicator alert. Go to double click on the indicator area here. Okay, this is a simple indicator. Edit it. We're gonna turn the alert on. Okay alert enabled you don't want the uh, alert to uh, come on I mean if you get an alert and it doesn't hit you can have the threshold at 360 seconds or a few minutes you don't want, you, it depends what type of strategy you're gonna do if you're a, a really quick scalper you may want to set this to one minute or you know 20 seconds or if you're looking for a, a, a bigger trend and you don't want to get uh, uh, be taking trades every you know five minutes you may want to change this to like seven minutes so it's only getting a signal every seven minutes like once it gets a signal it won't enter a new signal until it's been at least seven minutes so that can kind of prevent you from uh, you know getting chopped up pop-up alert window I don't need that I don't need that the alert no there's no email alert set up I'm gonna go ahead and set up a cool sound here I'm gonna use let's see what am I gonna use I'm gonna use a Duke Nukem sound yeah let's test it out yeah that's good alright we gotta set up this email alert here alright save that paint bar the alert is on to sell signal okay so what are we gonna do to do that I'm gonna go to options preferences Let's see we'll go to what are we going to here level two site no you know what it's not in here close this it's gonna be in trading setup possibly no not in there either it's in 
I know where it's at. It's in alerts. Edit alerts. There you go. Okay, it's in alerts. Alerts. Email templates. That's what we want. Okay, so following Bookster's plan here, I'm going to step through this real quick. We are going to set up an email template for this code tracker here. Email templates, the template name. I'm going to make a new one. Click new. I'm going to call it ATS. ATS by. I'm going to send it to what file? I'm going to send it to ATS at 127 period 0 period 0 period 1. Okay, so we got 1, 2, 3 periods there. Subject, just leave that empty. The uh, I'm going to copy and paste this. It should be ATS, not ARS. Okay, it's uh, it's almost three in the morning where I am right now. So, and it's going to be sent. There we go. Let's get rid of this. So it's from email address ATS at one two seven zero dot zero dot zero one. And it's going to be sent to mail server address 127.0.0.1. Uh, default port, the template name is ATS by. It's sending it to ATS at 127.0.0.1. And this is the important part. The message body is going to say uh, order symbol by entry, since this is an ATS by. Right. Click OK. We're all good on that. You can create the uh, the cell signal now. You're gonna go to alerts, edit alerts, email templates. There's the ATS buys already in there. We're gonna make a new one. We're gonna call this one ATS cell. All right. We're going to send it to ATS. Um, this is these two settings are already set up. You don't have to change that. The message body is going to be uh, order symbol cell entry, and then this one is already set up. So click OK. All right, now you go to alerts and you want to check them out. Email templates, you have ATS cells, good. It's in there, looks good. ATS buy, everything looks correct. Okay, so we're all set up here. Now I want to uh, set up those alerts to go off these little uh, arrows I have set up here, right? All right, so I'm going to go... Let's go ahead and look for a cell signal here. The alert is on. Make sure your alert's on by clicking this button here. It's going to send an alert through. This one is going to be an ATS cell, obviously. Okay. I got an audible alert that's going to go off. It uh, it's got a threshold. It'll only go off every seven minutes. Save the paint bar. Okay, good. Good. Maybe I get a buy signal here. So I'm going to turn this one on too. Alerts on. Uh, 360 seconds. Every seven minutes. Email alert is ATS buy. Audible alert. Custom. Go to Duke Nukem. Babelicious. Okay, good. Alerts on. Good to go. Save the paint bar. Close it out. So we got two uh, indicators there. 